Hello, hello, welcome. Um, thank you very much for being here, for joining our event today. My name is Alice. Um, I work at the admissions office here at Prague College, and I'm here today with my colleague Anna. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Anna. I'm Alice's colleague, and we are go going to explain you how to apply for our programs. Yes, so we thought to organize this event to just walk you through our application process. So if you decide to apply, uh, it would be as smooth as possible. Um, so this session, it was organized as a follow up to our recent event, uh, which uh, is called Battle of the Programs, where our current students were talking about what may makes each program unique. Uh, so if you're interested about this event, all of the uh, videos and live streams they were recorded and you can find them on our um, Facebook uh, page uh, in the section in the video section you can find all of them there so as uh, you will have heard our students uh, talking during this battle of the programs event uh, here at Prague College we offer practical and hands-on learning experiences uh, and international environment and by the end of your studies you will receive a British internationally recognized diploma so if you choose the foundation level you will receive a Pearson certificate and if you choose to go for bachelor's or master's degree you will uh, receive a diploma that is issued by our education educational partner in the United Kingdom Teesside University. So uh, if you decide to apply, uh, here you can see our entry requirements. So for the foundation level and for the bachelor's level, you would need to upload uh, a high school diploma, IELTS, TOEFL or Duolingo, English certificate, letter of motivation, which is around 300 words, uh, also copy of your passport. If you decide to go for a school of art and design program, you would also need to upload a portfolio of your creative works. Uh, we will send you the uh, uh, portfolio requirements, so please do not worry, you will have a guidance. Um, if you decide to go for master's degree, you would also need to upload uh, a CV. Of course, the confirmation would be confirmation of completed edu education would be your bachelor's degree. Um, yeah, and you would need to upload a CV and recommendation letter. There are also scholarship applications um, available um, and we would be able to give you more information on it when you decide to apply. Um, so right here, you can see um, the steps that you would need to go through uh, if you wish to become a Pratt College student. So the first thing, of course, you would need to apply for your chosen program. In order to do that, uh, you would need to upload all the documents that I mentioned before to up the application package that we will send to you. Uh, it is an online platform and you would need to fill in the personal information and there will be uh, slots where you will upload all of these documents. But I will show you later uh, what it looks like. So um, after that, after you've uploaded all of the uh, documents, um, if they meet the, um, the requirements, we will move to the next step, which is the final interview with the program leader. Uh, so if you successfully pass that, uh, we will send you the offer to study. And if you accept it, uh, we will send you the invoice. And after it's paid, you will uh, confirm your place on the program. After that, if you are an international student, then you would need to apply for a visa. Uh, if not, then you can just start your studies um, and skip the visa part. Uh, and after it, you can start in person or in the digital campus. Yeah, so now I would like to show, let me just, if you give me one, um second i'm going to show you what this application package looks like so this is what you will receive uh once you decide to apply here you will see the uh, name of your school that you decided to apply. and if we go down first thing you would need to fill in is to choose your program so if you click Right here, you can see different programs. After that, you can choose your preferred start date. 
and then you would need to fill, fill in your personal details. So right here, you can see all of that. Then you fill in your educational background. Then there's the language skills. And also then there is visa request. So if you are an international student, right here, you would need to choose, yes, I wish to apply for a visa. If you are a local student or an EU student, of course, you don't have to. Then there is the accommodation request. So right here, again, you can choose um, one of our student residences, or if you decide to arrange your own housing, you can choose the second option. So here you have scholarship application. And right here also there is emergency contact is just one thing to know if you are under the age of 18 we kindly ask you to submit the contact details of your parent care or legal guardian so there are other things and here is the section so section number nine uh, where you can see uh, all the information all the slots where you um, upload the documents so here's the confirmation of completed education english level letter of motivation uh copy of your passport a photo and here if you decide to apply for art and design school of art and design programs right here you would need to upload your portfolio in pdf if you decide to apply for a scholarship, here is the part where you need to apply some additional documents. And this is it. So here you can read our agreement. And if you go down when you completed um, the application and you submitted all of the documents and fill in all the personal information, you would need to sign the document and finalize it. Once it's uh, finalized, uh, we will receive um, a notification that you've submitted. The document is automatic, so we will know when your application is ready. So at this point, uh, we would like to go back to the presentation and my colleague Anna will give you more information on how we are planning to teach uh, in September 2021. Thank you, Alice. Um, so, um, hello everyone again. Um, we are opening the September semester with face-to-face -face teaching, of course, if the local and global restrictions allow it. Uh, you might be interested to know that the pandemic situation in the Czech Republic has improved a lot lately and the restrictions uh, are easing step by step. So universities, for example, can fully resume their in-person classes next week on Monday, which is a pretty big um, step. Uh, Prague College continues uh, to accept local students, EU students and international students as well to September 2021 semester start. Um, if you are an international student and you experience um, some uh, delays with your visa application or you face um, some travel restrictions, we guarantee that uh, you can start your studies on time um, in the digital uh, campus. Um, our programs uh, ran last semester uh, in the digital campus, so our lectures are already experienced and we are also ready um, to run these programs in September in hybrid format which means with students um, who can be here, they will attend in-person classes and students who cannot get here, they will uh, study in the digital campus. Um, you might already know um, lots of information about our study programs. What you might not know is that as part of studying with us, we have a great number of extracurricular activities that students can take part in. Uh, in the September uh, 2021 semester, some of these activities um, will, uh, will run in the digital campus and some of these activities uh, will run in person. Actually, thanks, ironically, thanks to the pandemic and thanks to our digital campus, 
uh, we've been able to organize uh, events with speakers uh, from different parts of the world, which uh, was not possible before, and it was pretty exciting. Um, Moving to the next um, slide, um, whichever way you will uh, be studying with us uh, from September, you will be supported um, in your preparation for the beginning of your studies. So in case you are arriving in, pr in Prague in person, uh, we have a dedicated member of student services who will help you to understand um, what you need to expect while entering the Czech Republic in terms of any requirements. Um, for students both uh, in the digital campus and um, in person at Prague College, we organize a welcome week. Um, this is um, a week happening one week before the semester starts. And it's an important time for students because they get to know their classmates, they get to know the environment, they get to know their teachers. Uh, students will be helped in settling in Prague in getting familiar with the city and with some practicalities. Uh, you will be also introduced to um, a designated study advisor from student services who will support you throughout your studies um, at Prague College. And you will be also introduced to um, the, the extracurricular activities that I talked about. So we have student societies, for example. So in the past, or actually this semester, students have been practicing yoga or meditation. So these are just two examples of what you can do. There, there are many more, to be honest, and it varies. Um, each year, uh, depending on, on what the students are interested in. We also do have a student council, international association and other, um, other events that uh, you, can, you can take, uh, take part. Um, I think we can, uh, we can move um, to the next slide. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure you know at the moment that Prague College is located in Prague in the Czech Republic. Uh, Prague is the capital of the country. Um, Prague College has um, three campuses. The main campus is really close to the city center. It's um, in a residential neighborhood with lots of cafes, restaurants uh, around. There is a park actually in front of our building. It's a very nice area uh, to be. Um, then we have two locations with our art and design studios. So one of them is at Prague One, which means in a very um, city center, very close to the old, old town of Prague. And the other location is a little bit further from the city center in a former industrial area. And our master students at uh, School of Art and Design are working there. And we've also held some exhibitions uh, there. Um, I'm not sure how familiar you are with Prague, but um, just to tell you briefly that Prague is very easy to, to get around there. The, we have very good um, a network of public transport, so uh, you won't get lost. Uh, it's not a huge, huge town. It is a capital, so you will find all the benefits of living in a big city here. But you won't feel you won't feel um, that it's it's that huge. It has about one million and something uh, inhabitants, so it's it's very pleasant to live. Um, there is always um, lots of things going on. So in your free time, you know, there are lots of um, exhibitions um, that you can attend or concerts and other culture, culture events. Um, talking about the locations and campuses, I think we, we can move to the next topic, which is student accommodation. So uh, we work with a number of uh, student residences. If you're interested in living in a student residence, you can indicate it in the application package, which Alice kindly showed you um, a few minutes ago. So 
please um, take the option there if you're interested in uh, having a room in a student residence. Uh, for actually to all our, our international students, we recommend staying in a, a student residence, student house cottage. It is a very nice residence uh, located in a neighboring part of town, um, sorry, part of Prague next to um, the district where the main campus is located. This residence offers uh, twin rooms and the price is around three, um, 300 euros uh, per month, uh, approximately depending um, on the room. Um, as you can see, we work also with, um, with other accommodation providers. Seintraum is a student residence as well, and they offer a limited number of single rooms. If you're interested, the price is a little bit uh, higher. And um, some other alternatives are the FIS and studio room flat. These, um, these are offering private apartments and flat share. The price will depend on the location and the type of, of the apartment. Um, so if you want to get more information, please go directly to their websites. They have pictures um, so you can see um, how, how their accommodation uh, looks like. Um, at this stage, I think it would be useful for you to see our admission deadlines in case you are now deciding whether um, to apply or not. So let's start with deadlines for students who do not need a visa to study, which means uh, local students and EU students. So um, we have a deadline actually coming up <laughs> pretty soon. It's by the end of May. So um, if you are now thinking about applying for a program to study from September, I, we would recommend um, submitting your application by the, by the end of May. Uh, that this way um, you secure your place in the program. Maybe we've actually briefly said it at the, at the beginning, but um, just to add, we, can, we keep our class sizes small, so places are limited, especially in um, the study programs at School of Art and Design. So uh, yeah, I would recommend applying, applying by, by the end of May. Uh, for international students, um, thank you, Alice, you, you still have time to apply, but again, we would recommend taking the decision soon if you'd like to um, study with us uh, from September 2021. Um, as you can see, um, uh, the, we have also a semester start in February 2022. This is because almost all, all our programs do open twice a year in September and in February. We are already accepting applications for February 2022. And if you apply early and secure your place by an early deadline, you can get a discount on your first semester tuition or a really nice bonus on top of the awarded amount of the scholarship if you apply for, for one and are awarded one. Um, so logically, we do also have a start in September 2022, which, uh, which might uh, be really uh, too far in the future, but in case um, you're interested in, in that semester start, we will, we are not accepting applications yet, but we will be soon. So um, just to, just to tell you about the September 2022 as well. Um, speaking about September 2022, which is far away, um, it reminds me that I wanted to also uh, show you um, what we offer as um, courses during the summer school. So I'll just um, maybe ask Alice to put the slide on. Yes, thank you. So in case some of you, you know, are thinking about actually studying already uh, in summer to enhance your skill and uh, to, have, to have some fun. So please visit um, our website um, to check what courses uh, we are offering. Uh, most of the courses, they will run 
uh, online. Um, they will run over three weeks. Um, it will be the second half of June and beginning of July. And as I said, most of them will run in the uh, digital campus. And um, I'll just um, kindly ask maybe Alice to show the list um, of the courses. So we have different fields. You can, we have an art course in uh, studio painting, which is a first course, thanks. Um, then we have a course within the IT field, which is website design and development, a very popular one. Um, and then we have a couple within the business area, let's say. So we do have a financial crime course, ethics, morality and society course. And the last one, uh, it's quantitative analysis using spreadsheets. So this is what we are offering. Um, if you are thinking about studying uh, in summer, um, you can sign up the form you can fill in the form on our website and we will send you uh, a short application form over email. Um, I think um, we are coming uh, to the end of our presentation. Um, we appreciate that you might have some questions and we are happy to um, answer those. Uh, you can get in touch either via email at admissions at prakolic.cz. However, if you prefer to speak to us in person and it is more comfortable you, we can also get in touch um, over Zoom. So um, at this point, if you have uh, any questions, um, please write those in the uh, chat on Facebook. We will just stay a little bit more to see uh, if there are any. We do already have, um, I think, one from Facebook. So the question is, uh, can uh, we apply from Nepal and what are the visa possibilities? It's the person from Santosh from Facebook. Thanks. Um, thanks, Alice. So, um, Yes, you you can apply. Uh, you can apply um, to study with us from Nepal. Um, in your case, really, the best would be if we can um, we can advise you individually. So, um, if you are already in touch with uh, one of us uh, or uh, you know a different admission advisor, please get in touch, and we can we can schedule a call to explain um, all the all the details. Um, but if you're thinking about September, studying from September, please um, please do it soon so that we can make sure that you have all, all the relevant information. Do you want to add anything, Alice? I think no. It, okay. It's, yeah, I don't think so. So you also, I believe that our um, guests from Zoom can also use the chat function to ask their questions here as well. Mm -hmm. okay. That is true. So we can just wait um, a little bit. Yes. Maybe in the meantime, I was talking about, about Prague. Myself, I'm from, from Prague. It is my hometown. Uh, my colleague Alice is not. So if you want to add anything um, re regarding, you know, the, the how is it for you in, in Prague, uh, you're welcome to because you get this, you have the international perspective. That's true. That's true. Rather than me, Prague is my hometown. <laughs> so I don't really uh, have this perspective. Yes, that's true. So I am originally from Russia. Uh, I moved here, I think it was almost two years ago. So I do have now a bit uh, of experience, of course. Uh, most of it was during pandemic, which was I could not get the full, um, could not feel and explore everything that Prague has to offer. But still, it is a wonderful city and it is a great um for students it is international and you don't have to be scared for example if you're not really fluent in czech uh you can use english language and you can um 
yes and you it is possible to find people that uh also only speak english and to have like some sort of community until you learn czech or maybe you just decide to uh speak english only this is up to you i think we have another question in the chat so how can we talk to a counselor that's the question yes so um after you are um enrolled and you are our student it would be possible to speak to uh the student services that would be able to help you and to give you the relevant contacts and to connect you to the uh person is there anything you would like to add anna um yeah i think i think that that's it and i'm not sure if maybe um uh, this student is asking about an admission advisor rather i'm not sure but in in this case if if you are not in touch yet with um admission advisor from prague college please just um you can you can even uh, chat uh, your email address here if you are happy to or you can write us an email um at admissions at pragecollege.cz we can write the address right here in the in the Zoom chat as well, and this way we get your um, your contact, and we can schedule a Zoom call, or we can uh, we can just um, having have the conversation over email. Um, it's it's up to you. So here is um, our email. I'm just going to put it in the chat. Maybe it's a bit easier for you to just copy and paste it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and also um, just going back to the international and people being from different places, I just wanted to mention that as I, uh, from Russia, I would also be happy to uh, talk and speak and communicate in Russian language if you, it is more comfortable for you. Um, and of course, Anna would be happy to do it in Czech for our Czech speakers. Thanks, thank you, Alice. Okay, so I think um, if you don't have any more questions, um, we can um, we can end this uh, this session. If you do, uh, if you do have more questions about a specific program that you are interested in, do not hesitate to go on our Facebook page and look out for those videos from the Battle of Programs event that happened um, this week. Um, or, um, as we said, um, just get in touch over email and we will be happy to, you know, to talk to you individually, whether it is about um, the visa question or um, the content of the, of the program or the admission process. Yes. Yes. So I can see there is the, the last uh, the last question. Yes. So if you would like to get advice on the programs that we provide, yes, please, you could uh, leave your email here in the chat and we will send you more information on the program that programs that we offer. Or you could uh, email us at admissions at pragcollege.cz. And again, we would be happy to reply and give you more information, send you our brochures um, and the module descriptions. Yes, mm -hmm. perfect. So um, thank you all for listening. It was um, it was nice to have you here virtually. <laughs> uh, have a great rest of your day and your weekend. And we hope we will uh, you will get in touch with us uh, soon and eventually maybe become a student at Prague College. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>